What's up turtles? It's Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. I'm walking around Stony Creek uh, right outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Sun setting and I just wanted to show you something I saw just on my walk. Share a little bit of the land where I am and you know just another video of the, um, understanding the resources around you in the forest. So on the trail here over the trail is this really big, really big old birch tree. Petula, I'm not certain of the species, but it's covered in all sorts of fungi. There's moss growing on it. But it's a birch tree, and there's many uh, uses and resources on a birch. And this tree is dead. Oops. This tree is dead, and it's definitely saturated and decaying. It's moisture ridden. It's just soaking up, soaking up moisture being at this valley floor. There's a lot of standing water. There's a high water table here. That's why the moss and these hemlocks and rhododendron grow here. But underneath this completely completely wet saturated tree is still dry pieces of bark you can hear it just cracking off I'm not peeling it really you can hear it just cracking the, the dryness of it and that's tinder for fire you know birch bark is up there at the top you know, best natural materials. Slight little pile in my hand. There you have, you know, birch bark holding a flame in my hand. <laughs> I got hot, but. And actually, as I'm putting this out, I want to show you the actual ground. The substrate here is sand. This is gritty sand. You know, I don't know if you want to call it a sandy loam, but this is majority sand. And I'm in the, you know, very northern tip of the Appalachian Mountains. And there's sand in this stream bottom. It's a really special place. Stony Creek, PA. This is Crick signing out with Black Owl Doors. Later, turtles.